Okay, this week we're going to do the top 10 golf cart accessible restaurants that we dislike. And I've heard through the grapevine there might be one that we actually hate. Let's start with Linda. <laughs> Linda, you're up. <laughs> I'm up. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I have another disclaimer. My disclaimer is that I actually love donuts. So I heard that, like, isn't there, like, a really good donut place in um, – Leesburg. Uh, Leesburg. Donut King? Donut yes. King, I think. It, and I haven't been to that one yet, but I hear it's really good. So I love donuts, but I really hate the Dunkin' Donuts at Brownwood. Mm. I really hate that one. I've tried it three times, and each time I've tried that place, either the, it's been dirty, the service has been bad, the donuts are stale, and I think they're missing such a great opportunity because the location is wonderful, right? It's great. You've got parking right behind it. It's a great place to stop and just grab a cup of coffee. But I'm really disappointed because I like donuts and I hate that place. I agree. Yeah. It's cheap. It's really sad. I don't have a comment because Sue doesn't bring me donuts anymore. <laughs> yeah. We have a new Dunkin' Donuts on Warm Springs and 301. I don't think that's golf cart accessible either. <laughs> you can go down. The, I understand you can drive down the uh, sidewalk. Get right down there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it gets interrupted sir. by a cemetery. <laughs> it's a cemetery. Go in the through way, it. So go through it. it. Nobody's gonna bother you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so, so that's the one I really, really dislike. And and like I say, I'm I'm disappointed because I think it could be a great place, but because I like coffee and donuts, but unfortunately that doesn't make it. Me too. So that's that's number one. Number two that I dislike, and I know a lot of people are going to disagree with me on this one, but when Roy and I had our um, lifestyle visit, we ordered a pizza from Flippers, and it was the worst pizza that we've ever had, whether they were having just a bad day or they didn't cook it enough or don't know what it was, but it literally, we didn't even eat it. It was a big pizza that the dough wasn't done and nothing tasted good. And so we've never been back to flippers. I agree with that one. You do? Oh, I'm surprised because yeah. I've heard people, yeah. well, other people say they like flippers. But and flippers at one time wasn't bad, but the last time we ordered a pizza, I think Sue was sick. And I said, well, I'll just order a pizza because around here, flippers will deliver. And so yeah, Adam went to the house, and I got to tell yeah. you, what you just said is exactly what we experienced. I thought it. Oh, I thought, man, yeah. Flippers has really went downhill, and I haven't had one since. Oh. And yeah, I, 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 I try Flippers when I live in Orlando for the first time, and it's exactly the same as you just described. Wow! So it's not yeah. just here. You want weird pizza? Go to the Dominican Republic and give me a call. Really, Dominican Republican? It's Dominican not bad Republican pizza. It's just whatever pizza. they put in. That's the first time I saw corn. On a pizza. Oh, I've seen <laughs> corn on a pizza. No, it's like Hawaii. No. Hawaii, there's there's no. pineapple on the pizza. No, that's that's Hawaiian uh, uh, ham and pineapple. That makes corn? No. No. No? No. <laughs> maybe, maybe they have a lot of corn in the Dominican Republic. I don't know. I don't care. To, let's do uh, Judy while she's still with us. <laughs> Judy. The first oh, is a new restaurant. Sometimes I've eaten it. And it's been okay. And other times I've eaten there and it's not very good. And it's McGrady's. And McGrady's is expensive. And I had, I've eaten um, a hamburger there and it was good. But then I had a club sandwich there. It was the worst club sandwich I've ever had. And so that's the first one. And the second one is also where sometimes it's okay and sometimes it's not. And that's Cody's in Brownwood. And I've eaten there before where I was with two other people and everything we got, none of us liked what we got. It tastes good. And then other times I've eaten there and if you get particular thing, it's okay. But if you go off of what you know is okay and you get something a little bit different, it's not very good. Yeah. Jose, you've been a restaurateur before, right? I mean, one of the challenges has got to be consistency because you've got right. different chefs, different preparations. So that's got to be hard. That's why I kind of hesitated about the dislike part because it's so hard to work on a restaurant. Um, but the consistency, yeah, that's probably the, the number one killer because Judy just said it, like one day was great, one day was awful. And the, yeah. the only way to fix that with the current situation of shortage of labor 
is you need to reduce your menu size. You, you, you need to have a small menu that's easier to control. But yeah. when you have, when you go to my greatest, yeah. I've been there too. And I agree with you. I've been twice. I have one on one, same, too large of a menu. And then I don't know if, I don't know what's going on. Price. Well, I've only been to Grady's once. I got a burger and a fry and a beer, and I thought the burger was yeah. one of the top three burgers that I've ever had. The other one was McDonald's, where you could get it for five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I didn't get it for five dollars. That's for sure. My Grady's, I doubt it. Yeah, it was probably more like twenty-five dollars. <laughs> Easily, without fries. Then it should have been. Then yeah. it should have been one of the top three. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we're going to go to Pedro. <laughs> My name is Jose Jimenez. <laughs> super, super racist. Anyways, uh, <laughs> I got two options. And again, um, it's not easy for me, but I, I have to say it. Like when we were, before we purchased the home, I don't think we were in the lifestyle. I think we're just driving by. Our, one of our first places here was the Havana Country Club. And mm. we just decided to go for lunch. As soon as I opened the menu, boom, Cuban sandwich right on my alley. Boy, was I disappointed. Like the worst oh. Cuban sandwich I ever eaten in a long time. When I can go to Publix and buy the ingredients and make it better, that's how bad it was. Oh, okay. Well, I was going to say the Suleiman family took it over because it got really bad for a while. They took it over and they've, they've made a far uh, better food than what they had before. This is the way I approach restaurants. I only post on Google what I like when it comes to restaurants. When I don't like it, I just don't go back. Right. And I never been back to Havana. Now, if you mention somebody else took over, I might give it a try. You know, yeah, like yeah. like like I agree with the Costa del Mar, which is an FMK group. Um, it's an awesome restaurant. You know, it's a big difference. Yeah. But that one was very disappointed. It wasn't super badly priced. Like the time we watched, probably thirteen bucks in, in the lunch menu, which is okay. But man, it was bad. Jose, you have a different standard, but if you get a chance, go to Sunny Pint and try their Cuban sandwich. Because I did see I it will. on the menu. I didn't try it. I didn't try it, but it looked good. Somebody else I bought will. it, though. So. Can I dry my golf cart? <laughs> <laughs> uh, getting a new apparently. golf cart tomorrow. <laughs> uh, anyways, um, the second one, and this is what happened with this place. I went the first time and... This is the kind of stuff that I do when I see people really trying hard, you know? They just opened this place. It used to be a code. It's, it's on 42. They shut it down for COVID, and they opened it as a back porch. It's called now back porch. And the first time I went, the food wasn't bad, but, man, they had so many flies flying around <gasps> oh, that so I even I taped them with my phone. And I also – but the manager came, and we had a conversation – and then he knew that I knew about restaurants. And I gave him a tip of how to deal with that kind of problem. So I, I suggest try that. And months later, a friend came from Orlando and we decided, let me take you there. Let me see if they improve, right? And I, and I thought they did. When we went in, you can tell they were working on the problem. It's still a few flies, but not as bad as the first time. Wow. But boy, I left without eating. <laughs> That's the yeah. signal of a bad moment. And if I do that, you will never see me again. Okay, now we're going to go to Sue. Well, I don't have anything that I hate. But one particular that I, I disliked was Thai rubies. And, and I said, and the only reason I disliked is because I didn't think any of the food tasted the way it's supposed to taste. <laughs> And then, you know, what makes me an authority, I don't know. But it, it just, you know, everything, I didn't know a lot of the stuff on the menu, but but the stuff that I, I did order just did not taste right. And I, I I think it was just just me. And they had a combination of things on there that just didn't gel right for me. Like I said, so that, that's why I dislike that place. Uh, it, but it's been a while since I've been in there. So a lot of these places, they, they go, they have a down period. Uh, and that's a problem with so many of them. It, it's it's hit or miss, you know, this week it's good, next week it's not. I, I Like I said, I haven't been there for a good while. They may have changed, might be a lot better. I don't know. Hey, Sue, Sue, can yeah. I add something though? I think you said something that's interesting because I actually had that on a list of, of the ones I like um, <laughs> and I didn't mention it because I had other ones. But I think if you had a lot of Thai food, because Thai food is really unusual. They use coconut, they use lemongrass, they use different kinds of spices that 
we're not used to. Right, so right. those are going to seem odd to you if you expected something that was a stir fry that was more like a Chinese stir fry or even at, right. at the Sakura place we were talking about. You know, if that's what your expectations were, Thai ruby is actually pretty authentic. So that's what might have thrown you off. They have and wonderful I think Thai that's coffee. What it was. Yeah, I, yeah, I think that's what it was because it was just, it wasn't bad. It was just odd to me. Where's that? It's uh, in Lake Sumter, right downtown Lake Sumter. Okay. You have to make it up. It's the rule. You have to make it up. You have to make it up. Well, I would have to. I would have to say flippers also. Say McDonald's. (laughs) Well, I don't eat much at McDonald's, so you know. You don't eat meat. Say dairy. Say Dairy Queen, and then no, I dare you say that. Are you not? Are you not? It's not golf cart accessible. Okay, let me get my two real quick, and then we'll follow this up. Uh, with a little bit of conversation at the end of this thing. Two restaurants that are probably maybe two of the most popular restaurants around here. I don't like any of them. I've been to all of them. I can do them. I darn sure don't go out of my way to go to them. One is City Fire. I don't care for that place at all when it comes to food. You don't get your money's worth. I don't think the service is all that good. They're noisy as crap inside. And I just didn't care for it at all. And we've been to the one in Lake Sumter. It was the same way. We went to the one down here in Brownwood when it first opened up. I've been there a couple of times. We went up there when we took my golf cart to get worked on. It's an easy place to walk down to and go inside. And I got a a, a flatbread, I think. And it was okay, but it's just there is something about City Fire that just doesn't trip my trigger. And then the other one is in Lake Sumter called Red Sauce. I've been there several times, and I just don't see the big deal about red sauce. They got a nice outside bar that's always crowded, and I think that's really where they make their money. The inside restaurant looks really nice. A lot of stuff in there, a lot of places to sit, nice inside bar. They do games in there certain days of the week, like bingo and stuff. I don't know, Uh, but I've had pizza there. I've had all kinds of stuff there, no matter what I get, the flavor to me everything i've ever gotten there has always been off it's just one of the places i if i'm up there i always look somewhere else to eat i don't really go there and that's mine and i think it's too expensive to go somewhere and eat and you just don't care for it so that's my two what i think about i've been to city fire once and i agree with you it's not spectacular but when i see a place with a huge bar that's a red flag for me in terms of restaurant because that to me is a bar these guys a restaurant, you know, like it's more important the bar part, and I get it. You want to make money, but the the cook part, the, the food part, is second to the bar, and I, I don't, I don't enjoy that. Take All right, two. everybody, we're going to get out of here. If you got any comments or any suggestions about the top tens, leave them below. Um, I've got some top ten suggestions from you all, and uh, we are probably going to do some of them. They were very good. I haven't talked to the girls and Jose about it yet, but we will. So with that being said, we're going to get out of here and say goodbye, everybody. Nos vemos. Adiós. Bye, everybody. See you on the other side. Well, there you have it, everybody. The top 10 restaurants that we dislike that are golf cart accessible inside the villages. So if you have a top 10 you'd like for us to do, leave it in the comment below. Better yet, send me an email because I check them all the time. We got a lot of them we're going to do in the future. Keep watching and we'll keep doing them. And by the way, if you would like to sponsor any of these videos, you can sponsor our channel right here the easiest way. Become a Patreon member, $2 a month, and everything on there will be commercial free. You can also join my YouTube channel for 99 cents a month. Everything there is commercial free. That being said, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. We'll see you on the other side.